Hello everybody and welcome back to the Weeb Family Basement. We are the Weeb Family. I imagine we're a lot like your family, except for we all read manga together. And in today's video, we all read the same manga together. But uh, first things first, I, I'm one step closer to making this like the late night talk show of uh, manga. I got my microphone set up here that has no wires to it, just like David Letterman used to have. <laughs> I got my got my coffee cup with, uh, I don't know, what, what do I have in it? Is it a shot of whiskey? Is it some soda? Is it some water? It's water. <laughs> it's Who knows? <laughs> it's water, guys. Okay, so today we are here to discuss one of Mommy's new favorite mangas. Is it a favorite? Uh, it is an anticipated one. A highly anticipated manga title by Mommy Weeb, and that is Golden Japanesque. Now, it's not Japan. It's upside down. It's <laughs> Japan-esque. It's yeah, not... Did you just do that on purpose? <laughs> now the now right they're, they're both correct now. Well, what's weird is, like, the backs. Like, okay, so, like, it's upside down to you, right? Uh -huh. But now that's upside down to me. So, I guess when I originally grabbed it, this was reading Why side up. The, but it's pretty oh, weird, like, yeah. the barcode is the up The barcode there. is usually at the bottom, right? Yeah, I would think. I don't know. Weird. Let's take a look. Let's look at some ridiculous. And, like, yeah, if I flip this upside down where it's upside down to you, this is upside down. Mm. Yeah. Barcode's in the lower right. But here, the barcode is in the upper right. All right, let's not get on too much of a tangent right. before people click yeah, away. That's... People have already clicked away. No one has clicked on this video that didn't want to be here, and they're here for the whole ride. Or at least that's what I tell myself <laughs> to get me through the day. So, before we start talking about this, do all the things. Like, subscribe, share. You definitely got to share. Not enough people are watching these manga discussions you know maybe it's because they haven't read the book they don't want to be spoiled yet i don't know but we got to get the views up so share share the we family love that sounds weird that does sound weird let's let's go not go ahead with that and get into us follow us on instagram at meet the weeb family underscore dad at meet the weeb family underscore mom put mine first because my account's more awesome so hey follow me so okay without Further ado, let's discuss this manga. Let's get right into it. So I got this for you for White Day yeah. this past year. Yes, yeah. the reverse Valentine's Day for guys in Japan to give girls chocolates and or other gifts. I'll which I got you one. chocolates yeah, and all that. And I got you manga. And this was one of the manga. As we said before... This manga, th I got these shells packed too tight. This is also by the same author, Ka Kaho Miyaza Miyasaka. I really should have practiced that. We're doing those cute Instagram poses. Is that cute? Or what? No, you see a bunch of girls no, doing like you're... this. I don't no. know. Or, or they do this. Yeah, I don't understand that. I no, no, but it looks either. sexy when a girl does it. When you do it, it looks gross. It, I don't personally like them, but I think that's the intention is to when look When your hot. dad does anything, it's gross. <laughs> no, I think the intention is to look sexually appealing, but I, I personally don't like it. When you do it, it doesn't look good. It never looks good. I don't know why people do it. You're saying generally it doesn't look good. It looks extra not good when dad's doing it? Yes. <laughs> Poor dad. Not to say that older. dad... Not to say that that is bad. I'm just saying generally the poses fail at what they're trying to do. Mm, that's okay. I mean, you have go to ahead, see what made it. Go, it, it, it go ahead and stop the video so I can cry. Where are my sunglasses? No, where are my it, tissues? It, no, it fails at what it does, at what it's wanting to do in the first place. So you're not making it any worse. You're not making it any worse. But not any better either. <laughs> but it's never going to be good. So that's why it's okay. Feelings are hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> now, Laura, now the daughter weave looks like she's going to cry. Aww. 
Poor it's daughter. Okay. It's, it's okay. okay. I think what'll make her feel even better is if we actually talk about the manga now. <laughs> so as I said, this is golden Japanesque. It's not Japan. It's Japan-esque. Japan-esque. How many times have you made that joke already? As many times as I need to make it before people will laugh. That's how many times. <laughs> Get the your laughs out now. are always better when you repeat them and drive them into the and ground. And explain them. And explain them. It's always important to explain your jokes. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Golden Japanesque by the same author as Kari First Love, as I already mentioned. Which I didn't know when Kayo you picked that up. Miyasaka. I just thought it was a pretty cover. You yeah, can, I do like you the can, art. You can artists. definitely tell the art has improved, but you can still tell it's the same artist. But I didn't well, even think of that. You can see that the uh, eyes are the same. Yeah. Because Mommy but, Weave has been obsessed with shoujo eyes lately. The um the main difference is mostly just the shading on the hair is significantly better. Maybe probably a lot of changes in uh, Photoshop technology. Probably since mostly. when this came out, which you got this before Daughter Weave was even born. Correct. So. It's uh, been out there. We're, we're still not even talking about still the Still not even talking manga. about the I mean, we're kind of talking about it. We're talking yeah. about the art. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't know that this was by the same artist. I was watching a YouTube video. I believe it was from Maeve Ever Reading, and she pointed it out, which is how I knew and told you, and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I, I think it's a novelty to have... Uh, for people to follow the same manga creator. Because I think early on when ma manga first started coming over, only the heavy hitters got multiples of their manga to come over. And I'm talking about your Kazuo Koei Which case. really sucked because you would read something that you like and be like, oh, let me look up this creator. And there's nothing, like, just yeah. the one thing. Everything I, else is in Japanese. I don't know if that's a thing nowadays, though, because they just generally bring over a lot more. Manga. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, they're more willing to bring more stuff over like i said it used to be your rumiko takahashi yeah your kazuo koi k's not even all of rumiko either true and that was pretty much it but now we're starting to see a lot more works from other artists well that and more time has passed i mean yeah it's been about 20 years from this to this which well, maybe more like 15 but still but there's whatever. probably something in between that they've created could be like, I know one of your favorites, Miki Aihara, has a bunch more stuff in Japan that's not available yeah. in English. But, um, okay, we should probably begin discussing this as y'all rock our janky setup. What are y'all doing? Y'all y'all are distracting me. I can't focus. We are not distracting you. Yes, you are. You're, you're getting distracted. Anyway, so, uh, in a real good youtube channel would edit that stuff out but we don't do that we don't do that because i don't know how i don't it's know how it's not that hard to edit anyway i don't know why you can't do it because i'm old and i suck at learning <laughs> okay so let's talk about learning. let's give a synopsis for golden japanesque um this is a book where our main girl maria and i don't know if they kind of say it more like maria but maria that's how i read it in my head I mean, uh, Maria Natsume. Is well, her yeah, name. she definitely has a Western name. Yes, um, and as you can see on the cover, she has blonde hair, blue eyes, and this is not one of those things like in manga where someone just has blue hair like, for no literally, reason. Like, yeah, oh, literally blue hair. hair. Exactly. Um, it's very important that she has blonde hair because she is has or she is what the Japanese would refer to as a half fu. That means that. That is a real word. I it's, looked it up. I understand it's a real word. It sounds very... Sounds very racist. Yes. Wildly racist. Isn't that racist. the point that it is racist? Yes. We cannot talk about Golden Japanesque without talking about racism. And we're going to. Right, Sam. But, um, yes. So she's blonde hair, blue eyes, because she's half Japanese. Uh, her father was white. Uh, I think he's either British or American. Not 100% sure. Most, they weren't very clear on... But she... We'll have some spoilers here. I'll, I'll hold off on this, but... They made it sound like he was European, not American. I mean... But we just know that he spoke English. Yes. So, yeah. So, probably British, maybe American. When you're saying American, though, you're still referring to British people. It's just a British a ancestry, yeah. Maybe even Australia. Who knows? Uh, that's more... That's, that's definitely unlikely. All we know is that he spoke English and she knows a little bit of the English alphabet. So 
Uh, we're giving our synopsis here. At some point, we'll go into spoilers because the types of discussions we like to do, you got to get into spoilers, but we'll try and throw that up there as we do. Just read so. it and then come back. Just make sure to No, no, back. you got to watch it now because we need those views to go up. But if they watch, it's... stop and come back, isn't that two views? I don't know. We it, need more views, people. It, it depends on how you watch. Love us. Mm. <laughs> Dad needs love. Yes, because I'm clearly not getting it from Daughter Weep, so... Sad face yeah, on we both need those, ends. We need those reactions. Sad faces on both ends. Anyway, enough teasing of the daughter. So... That's our basic setup. And then, well, the sole setup is that she's half Japanese. And that she, or well, her mom, hides it from the world by artificially coloring her hair like an old white man. And then... Uh, I want to know how they're coloring her hair. What they're using. Is it like I don't know. Me? It's not very good. No, it's not. And we'll get to that in a minute. It's. I think they even, I think I said it in the book, though. I don't know. Uh, but they, I don't remember. Uh, no, they did. I but then, of course, it's a it's a girl meets boy kind of story, and it's there for the love. Well, and it's it's standard in the shoujo romance genre of the boy is the rich, popular boy, and she's the outcast girl. Yes. I uh, is this is this? Never mind. We're not at the spoilers yet. Yeah, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, That's... so I'm just going to refrain. Actually, is there anything we want to say before we even get to the spoilery parts? Well, mm, mm, no. Fine, from this point forward, there could be spoilers. And if it, you get spoiled, that's on you. But how much can you really spoil with... Too Actually, long. I'm going to spill some tea, like, right here. How much can you really spoil for a manga that has nothing going on in it? What? No, there is I stuff said going it. on. There's I stuff said going it. on. Nothing what do you mean? On. There's stuff going on. There's nothing going on. Yes, there is. Uh, did you read the same manga? Yeah, there's like one or two things going on. It, it's boy punks girl. Okay, okay. Let me Girl just... gets the ink washed out of her hair because uh, just for men or... No, there or, is a What's plot. the girl's hair color products here in America? L'Oreal? They're more permanent. Whatever. She has no good dye jobs. It always gets washed out. <laughs> no, there's they're... racism and mermaids. They're, they're, and that's all that happens in this. There's a plot going on. Do then what's not... the plot? Then what's the plot? What is it? There is a half Japanese, half probably Englishman girl. Englishman she... girl. I'm just going to say that because I don't know what else to say. European. And basically she is dealing with her identity as a half European because at this time in Japan they were very racist towards Europeans and so it's her dealing with their racism and also probably some discrimination from her own mom I mean let's just admit it you know no I think you're wrong there and let me come back to that for a second but first let me do a boomer humor certified joke <laughs> boomer certified moment <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything <laughs> But let's say you're African and you go into the bathroom and you come out American. What were you doing in between? European. Oh. Boomer humor certified. That, that, was, a joke real, certified. that was a real mad and wait moment. <laughs> <laughs> certified boomer humor. Dude, and Mommy Weave is face palming so hard. So hard. She is embarrassed. She's not even on camera, but she's hey, so embarrassed. Hey, did that have apple bottom jeans? No. That's too inside. That's too inside no. baseball. No, 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 no. It's, no, no, we're not even going we're, there. No, no, not, not even. We need to move on. Let's move on. So, That's first of all, okay, so Daughter Weave actually brings up a good point. The racism in here. She's saying it's a time of racism. But it's actually a time of more progressiveness on that front. And here's why. No, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I actually wrote about this in my college paper. So one of the things, uh, getting slightly ahead of myself, one of the things I like about this is that it's set in the Meiji era, right? So we're looking at the late 19th century. I'm not sure what exact date they give for this book, but let's just say it's in the 1880s, 1890s, okay? Somewhere around in there. Maybe even early 1900. Um, before the Meiji period was the uh, Edo period, which is 
the classic samurai setting. This is when the Shogun was the head of the government, and they had an extreme isolation policy. In fact, the only way you could trade with the Japanese from the outside world was through the Dutch, largely speaking, and you had to do it at the port of Nagasaki. That's the only place you can do it. But then America comes in, forces its way into, I think it was Edo uh, Harbor or Tokyo Bay or something. I, I read the exact location, but um, he comes in there, and, and then that begins the whole Meiji Restoration and blah, blah, blah. So we're actually uh, in a time period where Japan is actually becoming more and more westernized because they see what's happened to China and a lot of these other Southeast uh, Asian uh, countries with colonialism, and they don't want to suffer that same fate. So there's a huge adoption to... Um, okay. That might be for the country as a whole, but yes. probably average citizen was probably still very... I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'm racial saying... equality came to Japan. I'm just saying... It's a mindset that's more progressive than but what it would have been in the Edo. Period. Being more progressive doesn't mean that there isn't, like. I never said there wasn't racism. I know, but you're just putting it like, but wait, they're more progressive. I'm just putting it in the time period. Fine, yes. that's it's in the time. It's period. part of the conflict. No, it's in the time period of oh, we need to open up to the world. But wait, we don't want to, and we're scared of people, and we're going to be racist to people who are not I think us. it's more like the government and the military wants to open up to the West, because they think, yes. rightly or wrongly, it's the best for the country, and the average citizens are like, make Japan great again. No. Uh, just, don't no. We're not bringing... I, I'm them. not going to argue that. I don't know that you need to say great again. I think they're just like, we don't want this, period. Uh, you know what I mean. So, I, I think it's more the government wants it, but your average citizen your average not. citizen is getting culture shock, and when you get culture shock like that, you some some people accept it, and some people yes, reject I, it. I understand that. I'm not again. I'm not saying there's not racism in Japan. There's still obviously racism in Japan to this day. There's racism I'm, in most of the world. Yes, there's racism everywhere. I'm just saying that. The historical context is one where it's opening up to the world, maybe not the hearts and minds of the people, but the country is. Okay. And I think that's why it's important to point out that it's in the Meiji era. Well, I think... Other than it's important to point out the settings of a story. Yeah. In yeah. literary It's discussion. more pointing out the setting of the story and that why would this half-European girl be there at mm. all to begin with. Yes. Yeah. And let me go with... Um, so I usually would like to have us break down these discussions in the two parts, the things that we like and the things that we don't. And I'm going to pick one of the things that I like because it contradicts what, uh, daughter Reba is saying. And I think it shows a difference in positions in life. I, it seems that daughter Reba doesn't like the mother because she's very cruel and whatnot. But as a parent, I see what the mother does and I'm just like, I feel for this woman, right? No, I understand why she's doing it. It's still... Well, why is she doing it? She's doing it to protect her daughter, but part of it feels like she's only doing it so she won't be called a whore. Well, the it being coloring uh, uh, Maria's well, she hair. she colors her hair, and then she keeps her hair in front of her has eyes. Has the bangs, yeah, so that no one will see her blue eyes, right? And she's always concerned with what other people are going to say She keeps about her head down, never looks anybody in the eye. Kind yeah, of but I'm talking about the mother. Oh, uh, yeah. Sachie was her name. See, I was a pro. I wrote down the names so I could stop looking stupid on I'm, camera. I'm giving Dad an off-camera thumbs up right yeah. now. At least look stupid for not knowing the names. Mm -hmm. I can look stupid for all the other stuff. For all the other stuff. But, so, Sachie does all this stuff. And, and I feel for her, right? Because every parent doesn't want their kid to be picked on. Once their kid to be accepted and you know and that's just the way it is um, but at the same time you know she bears this personal shame because she's obviously had kids with a foreigner in a wildly racist uh, country that's slightly more progressive but we don't need to rehash that um, you know so she's trying to do the best she can with what she got and maybe she doesn't do it the best way possible but 
Wow. She comes off as a character you're supposed to hate, but deep down... She cares for her daughter. Yes, exactly. And you're, you're just... It's hard because, at least from an American point of view, you're coming... See, you, you, you're being I'm unprofessional with your, with your uh, Instagram notifications, breaking up our flow. That's why I left my phone upstairs. I turned off the sound. Anyway, what were you we going to say? Turn it on. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Um. I mean, okay. I know. I dislike her, but I know her intentions. But I still dislike her, despite that. Like, just because you know someone's intentions doesn't necessarily make them right. Well, uh, okay. So what I was going to say is, we're we're looking at it from a, an American point of view, where. Americans tend to be all about the individual and being individualistic and expressing your individual identity to be who you are. And uh, even in the U.S. back at that time, individuality, while somewhat celebrated, was still you need to conform, you need to conform to what the people around you agree with. And in a society like Japan, where you don't have a lot of exposure to different people, different cultures, expressing individuality could be very harmful, maybe. And that's obviously what the mother's wanting to protect her against. And as a as a as a kid, as a teenager, the one of the things all teenagers do is rebel about against what your parents are doing for you. So she, while she may understand because she's obviously been hurt over and over again, the girl, by other children, um still hurts to say wait is is my the way i look so awful so horrible so ugly because she to take a step forward and talk about uh the mermaids like she's only ever been compared to a demon and when she runs into this boy who says oh you remind me of the little mermaid and she's like the little mermaid what's that i've never heard of that and he he references the what is Hans Christian Andersen. Well, no, yeah, he references Hans Christian Andersen, but she's like, I don't know what that is, mm-hmm. and so then to try and let her let know me, what that yeah. is. Let, let me just stop you right there uh-huh. because one of the first things I put here under my likes is I put set in the Meiji era. Mm-hmm. I'm a sucker for the Meiji era. It's probably from liking Kenshin so much. Mm-hmm. Um, this feels like a Jane Austen book, and we can uh, circle back Who to that. that? Actually, true story, true story. This is too, this is too funny not to you say. You guys are awful. As I'm writing my notes, I, I'm oh. sitting I'm sitting on the bed uh, up in our bedroom. We're trying to write some notes for uh, the show. And uh, I turn to Mommy Weeb as she's, you know, messing on her phone. And I'm like, okay, don't laugh. Don't make fun of me. But which one is the author, Jane Austen or Jane Eyre? And she gives me this death stare. And she's like... Jane Eyre is a book. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. They're both dumb. But uh, tell me which one is the author. So Jane Austen is the author. She wrote Mommy's favorite novel, uh, Pride and Prejudice. Oh, okay. Okay. And no, it doesn't really I mean, I talk Mommy about Weave, it. Mommy Weed's face about is it. so red. I talk about it. She's going to murder us off camera. No one can remember this small detail of this thing I talk about every so often. I know, I know what Pride and Prejudice is. I just can't remember who the author of it is. Yeah, it's the movie that Mommy watches every uh, every few months. Look, I know what Pride and Prejudice is. I just don't remember the author. It's Jane Austen. It's Jane Austen. But it doesn't feel like a Jane Austen. No, it totally feels like a Jane Austen book. How? Because it's about this family that has pride and prejudice? No. (laughs) She has too much pride. He has too much prejudice. Stop making that matter. joke all the time. <laughs> anyway, um, it, it, it's very Jane Austen in the sense that we have this down on their luck family that's being courted by the rich guy and the girl wants to marry for love and not social status and we are have a bunch of snooty women running around. And everyone's concerned with what suits them, not how they feel. I mean, it's I guess, so Jane that's Austen. Not, that's not inherently Jane Austen. I mean, that's, that's romance story in general. Or that's any story where you are constrained by societal mm-hmm. norms. In, not in, necessarily. In the 19th century, which just happens to be what Jane Austen. And I again, almost said air, but I didn't. Again, when you're... 
across the world. That's just an any act. relatively developed society was very strict on their uh, social standards and rules. Yes. So that's why you can find similarities between what was happening to Japan and what was happening in England. It doesn't make them the same. They're exactly the same. No, but no, it's let's, not. Let's 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 move on. Can we get back to the mermaids? Yeah, I'm trying to, but oh, I, I know but daughter, we derailed us with this Jane Austen talk. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that he, she was confused because she didn't know what a mermaid was, uh-huh. like yeah, the little no, mermaid. No, you're telling this wrong. No, she's telling it fine, Dad. We okay, go buddying. go ahead, go ahead. And so when she was like, "What is this?" He says. Oh, the yokai. And she was like, fine, tell it. So, when Maria, through circumstances of her mom's employment and going to a school, she doesn't go to school, so this doesn't take place in high school, even though they're high school age. Um, uh, Sachie, the mother, is going to go work for this rich family, and that's when she meets Rentaro, who's our male... uh, protagonist in the uh, love interest and while they're hanging out being all girly boy shoujo kind of way um she gets caught in the rain the ink runs out of her hair the cat's out of the bag that she's blonde and he's like oh you're beautiful like the little mermaid right and so maria gets all freaked out about this runs away but she can't stop thinking about rentaro because even though he's an absolute dick to her, she can't stop thinking about him because women like the bad boys for whatever reason. She decides to look up the Little Mermaid. So she's looking at this Japanese language book and she finds Mermaid and it's a yokai. It's this ugly looking fish. Mommy probably draw me look, drew me looking like an ugly fish for this YouTube thumbnail. So you'll get an idea of what it is. I'll even look for it in the thing. And so... This leads to that classic shoujo misunderstanding. And then um, what's great is, uh, let me find the yokai picture. He tries first. to draw the mermaid. Yeah, he tries to draw the mermaid. And it just looks okay, like a yokai. So, and it looks like a yokai. So this is the image that she shot. No, don't zoom in because it does That's work. close enough. Okay. So this is what she's now thinking. And now she's all pissed off because... Uh, She's like, well, this is just like, you know, how everyone else treats me. They think I'm a demon and blah, blah, blah. And I think the most relatable thing in this entire book is he or she confronts him and is like, um, yeah, you just think I'm a yokai and blah, blah. He's like, no, not the yokai mermaid, the little mermaid. He's like, here, I'll draw it out for you. So he does this, which just makes the whole situation worse. It looks just like a yokai. And so, like, guys, guys, not that any guys watching this video, but guys, how many times have you been in an argument with your woman or, you know, we're, we're, we're equal opportunity here, your boyfriend, and, like, you try to say something, they take it out of context, and, like, you try to explain yourself, but just nothing's working. Yes, That's that is not a good happens. explanation. That was a great can, explanation. Can I note something? I f- what? They keep comparing her to the Little Mermaid, but if I were to compare it to any fairy tale, I feel like she's more like Cinderella. Yeah, she's got blonde hair. Well, not just that she has blonde hair, but more just like the fact that you're hiding who you you're you're hiding your lower status to pretend that you're of a higher status. I feel like that's more Cinderella esque. That's actually some very deep analysis from Daughter Weeb. I just I thought that consistently through reading this. I'm like, this is not like the Little Mermaid at all. It is a little more. Uh... Cinderella as you're gonna do a thinking face on that. No, no, that's stop. That's good point, daughter. A plus. Yeah, A plus. Uh, you get an ELA gold star. Alright, can we continue? Uh okay. So uh, I like the mermaid talk. The mermaid talk was really good. The mermaid stuff is great. Yeah. The uh I think one of the one of the points I put down on here is I think that this book does really well with connecting to its target audience. And its target audience are Girls. Dope, they're dopey, shy girls who are unsure of themselves and need a kick in the ass to do well in the world. And I don't mean a kick in the ass is like they're stupid and you need to beat them. Motivation. I mean, yeah, motivation. That's what I mean. They need the motivation to become the beautiful swan that they know that they are. And this book uh, sends that message very well, especially at the end of Volume 2 
where some tea finally starts to happen. Sometimes it takes a minute to spill some tea. It's only the first two volumes. You gotta pour the tea before you can spill it, right? That's right. That's right. Gotta pour it before you can spill it. Guys, we're not making reference to James Charles anymore. I don't even know what that is. Don't worry about it. You don't know the influential beauty icon that is James Charles? No. No. Says the person who didn't know Napoleon Complex was named after Napoleon. I knew it was Bonaparte. named after Napoleon. My who didn't brain... know Jane Austen? Who Wrote knows Pride Jane Prejudice. Austen? Oh my god. Who knows James Charles? I don't even watch James Charles, which makes this even more funny. <laughs> anyway. So, do y'all have anything you want to say under the likes, or can we dive into the dislikes? Let's, let's make sure to put, just side note, let's make sure to put one more like after we do the dislikes, because that's proper reviewing. You do a good thing, a bad thing. You got a compliment sandwich it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why don't we hold off well, on Apparently, we, learn, we love the book so much, we have to give it a compliment sandwich. No, I'm saying from now on we should do that, because I feel like we get all negative at the end of our videos. Okay. I was front-loading it with positivity. Well, here, let me go just dive straight into the dislikes since we're going to save some likes for the end. Sure. This checks all the check boxes of a good shoujo, right? Shoujo romance, yeah. Yes. But it never tries to become better than the sum of its parts. Like, we're going to give you, it's like when you order at McDonald's, they're like, okay, here's your Big Mac, here's your fries, here's your drink, here you go. You know, it never tries to give you that smile that mixed smile that makes you feel like you're eating more than just garbage i don't know it's, it's a comfort read i guess is what you might call it if you're into that kind of mm. shoujo no, romance the thing is to have extraordinary books you need to have average books so it just fills that average book category it doesn't not all books need to be extraordinary because if all books were revolutionary then there wouldn't be revolutionary books they'd all be average yeah so that's why I think... I'm the one supposed to be bringing deep, meaningful talking points here. What the hell? Daughter's, when, daughter's when, on point today. When, when did daughter become like so... She gets an A in English and all of a sudden she's better than hey, daddy. She got straight A's all the year, so... Shrug <laughs> from the, the daughter. The, the, the look. But, okay, so yeah, it, it's strictly mediocre... I would, it becomes, mediocre isn't quite right, yeah, it's though. so mediocre. No. It, it, I described this okay on its... It's book. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just something you read that's pretty cute. I guess. I described this to someone on Instagram as the Paul Rudd of shoujo. It's Who's there. Paul Rudd? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Who... Ant-Man. <laughs> oh, okay. I always, Anytime she's like, who, which she's asked this question before, who's Paul Rudd? I'm like, Ant-Man. She's like, oh. No, I, I just love this. We don't know who James Charles is, this random YouTuber that only, like, 10-year-olds watch. She's like, you don't know James Charles. <laughs> I'm just But joking. meanwhile, who's I'm Paul Rudd? I'm literally joking with you guys. I don't even watch James Charles. But you're not joking that you legitimately don't know Paul Rudd. Yes. Okay. He's the most inoffensive actor in Hollywood. He's also very cute. Oh, okay. He's, he's okay. Which, very beautiful art in our manga. Yeah, it's not too bad. I like the uh, the chapter uh, things. Um, chapter covers? Yeah. Which I will talk about. But th this is a very inoffensive manga. Like, this is cool. I enjoy this. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. It's, um, it's I'll look for another one. But it, because it's so checklisty, it becomes formulaic to the point of predictability. Like, when she's out in the rain, these ruffians are about to... It is a bit predictable. These ruffians are about to tackle her and steal her jewel. Like, this is another great uh, picture. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Rintaro, the uh, love interest, comes in and saves her with his kendo moves. Because he's got those yes. sweet skills. You are kendo correct. Skills. The, the There's is, nothing in it that is shocking or surprising. Yes, the problem is you're saying this like it's a negative. But if you're someone who actually likes shoujo, you're going to be like, oh, this is... No, this is talking. a negative to me. How? If you're someone who actually likes shoujo, like, yeah, it might be a bit repetitive and it may not be for everyone who likes shoujo. But, like, if you generally like shoujo, you'll probably like this. Because it hits all the checks boxes. And that's not inherently a bad thing. I and guess it's better than not hitting the check. Boxes, well, and it but. hits the check. Like, okay, what is it you always like to say? Cookie cutters are there for a reason. Yeah, people like the conformity. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm saying it's bad because we hit all the checklists 
the checklist items, and then there's nothing extra. You gotta put some little extra into it. The extra, like when you put a cookie no. cutter in the dough, you gotta put some frosting and some sprinkles on it. There's number no frosting one, I don't. Sprinkles. Number one, I don't like frosting on my cookies. Number two, the, that is like, true. The extra frosting to this cookie is the racism. So you're debunked. Whatever. I, flat Earther. Flat Earther. You, That's a real Flat Earther certified moment. I'm going to take you out of context and attack you with a straw man. You like racism. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not. Why do you like racism, daughter? I'm not. I'm just saying the extra thing that's added to the book is the racism. Not saying mm-hmm. that racism is good. That's just the extra thing I that's will added s- to the book. I will say this: that in a, the majority of the manga that I've read, they have not taken a serious look at non-Japanese people, like especially in shoujo. Like the it's half oofs. Like, yeah, like the, you'll have. When they have a foreigner show up, they're like, ooh, they're the exotic European foreigner, and, like, everybody's all excited about it. Like, like the, this like is the... very different for a manga to have a European person be, like, rejected by everybody around them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it is a different take from that point of view. Yeah, and everyone just thinks Sache is a whore. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty horrible. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lord forbid. Which we don't even know the story behind it. We don't know why they yeah. got together. We don't know why he had to leave. We don't. Well, know Well, we think it's behind. an amicable kind of. Yeah, a, a, and maybe he didn't even know that she was pregnant. Like, there's a whole. No, we know that. He oh, knew. did he? Well, because they have flashbacks of her being with her dad. Do they? Yes. Yes. You, I read this a while ago. I'm sorry. She. He was around when she was young. Yes. She just left. He just left very young. Yes. So we, but we don't know why he left. Is I mean, there's a lot of question marks there that we don't know. Uh, the next what's going on? Would probably answer that. I know that's why you keep reading. <laughs> but um, there is one thing that I was annoyed with. Hmm. Um, so it goes with the standard: um, if a boy likes you, he teases and yeah, that's you. not a good stereotype to promote. And it work. Okay, it works in the story only because of the time period with which it is in. Because obviously, at that time period. It was still the boys will be boys. They mess with girls. It's okay to pull their hair if that's you think they're cute. Well, to be clear, he never pulls her hair. No, he doesn't. I was. You're just saying that as a general. I was thinking of Anne of Green Gables, um, because she had the braids and he Mm -hmm. calls her carrots and pulls her hair. No, no. no. I knew it wasn't. I was just teasing you. (sighs) Anyways, it's the whole like it's acceptable for boys to tease girls because that's how they express that they like the girl, but the girl clearly doesn't understand that because they're learning love and it, it's a little tropish and old but, but it kind of, they kind of they it kind is of, from the era they also kind of get rid of it as it goes on though yes because supposedly how a story like that would go is oh because the boy gets better at expressing his feelings he doesn't need to tease her and be mean to her because he's actually talking to her and you know expressing how exactly. he feels mm. Uh, the last thing I put on here for dislikes is I don't care if the two characters get together. Like, I care more about Miku and Yabechi getting together and Gal Gohan than I care about this. Like, I think that's more they've the done of just disliking Chojo. I don't think that's a fatal flaw. No, I it, it's not it's not it like not that this is Shoujo, but I just got done reading Wave Listen to Me, and there are some characters I want to see shipped together. And I just don't care enough about these characters because he's a little asshole. He's a little rich kid throwing his money around, trying to get the girls to like him. Um, it, yeah, it's great that he doesn't immediately shun her for being half Japanese. But, like, I just feel nothing. I feel European. no chemistry between... Well, whatever, whatever I said. No, I have half Japanese, half European. Well, yeah, but you only said half Japanese, which the half Japanese... Well, the other half was implied. No, the, the half Japanese are. is obvious. Well, whatever. She's a half foo. That's all that matters. Is that she's half foo, and I don't care about her and Rintaro getting together at all. Because there is no chemistry between the two of them. I said it. How much chemistry do you want between like a 14 year old and a 16 year old? I don't know. Something more than what's here. I, I don't know. I think it's... your problem is, is that uh, you don't relate well to introverted people. Yeah. And the way 
she is reacting to everything is... To, I mean, first of all, you have an introverted personality where she can't... Is being told that she can't express who she is because of what she looks like. Yeah. Suddenly thrust into a situation where this guy is like... Almost glomming onto her, being like, ooh, you're so cool because you have blonde hair. Well, is that a fetish? Like, do you just like me because I have blonde hair? Like, oh, now you're going to dress me up in your European dresses? Like, it's a little creepy in that sense. I I actually agree, and that's why I just don't care about this I mean, guy. I guess you I, What I want to happen is I want Maria to become comfortable with her half-Europeanness, and then I want her to find somebody else. Because well, this guy's a scrub. Okay, so first of all, the first part will happen eventually. Oh, probably. The second part, no, that will not happen. Yeah, she will get to... Because we're checking I'm all taking the a bet. Look, facts. I'm taking okay. a bet. They will get married, married in the, the end. Because it's a shoujo romance. They're getting married. These That's the not even characters. a question. You don't even need to so, do any So, yes, you can say, it's going to happen. I don't like the main male character. But a lot of times in shoujo romance... The main male character sometimes has to grow on you because they are jerks in the beginning. That's, like, also standard. Yeah. That's... Again, I think it's just because you don't like Shoujo. Whatever. Hashtag save Maria. Get her... What? ...away from this scrub. From this ab- abusive boy. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's abusive. He just He's just not Gucci for her. He's he needs the, to go he, with... He's throwing lizards and frogs at her. Okay, that part He I needs to like. get together with the girl in this book I truly hate, which is Yuriko... Uh, Hadake, Hadakeyama. The one that's full of herself? I just put down here, like, I put little notes for people. Like, I put Maria, the Hafu, uh, Sachie, the mother, um, Rintaro, the BF, and I just put for her, Yuriko, the bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it fits. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's true, but I don't, it's but it, whatever. Okay, so. Daughter's like, I don't want you using that misogynistic she's... language to describe No, characters. I don't care that you're using the B word. What I, what, it's, what, I can't English. Okay, what I'm trying to say is she's just your antagonist character. Well, and when she's first introduced, you she's obviously introduced to someone that you're not supposed to like. Yeah. But, from her point of view, I mean, is her line of thinking that wrong? Like, why would you expect this random, first of all, there's a lot of assumptions in her character that she makes. Like, why would you assume that this random, random girl is just going to deliver this note for you? And why would you trust that oh, this random because, girl would deliver this note for you? Because she gave her a tip. A 50 cent tip. I, I guess, but I was just like, my whole point was She like, gave the pores some money. Like, So what? again, she's, <laughs> she's making some assumptions. Like, okay, so if your assumption is, is I'm doing a good deed for this girl because I'm giving her some mm. money to deliver this note for me, right? Mm. That's not really outside of her societal position. Like, she's portrayed as being, oh, that's awful. Why would she give her this note to, to, to send? No, that makes sense. Like, okay, this girl who clearly doesn't have a lot of money, I'm going to throw her a bone by giving her some money to deliver mm-hmm. this note. She had no idea there was a connection between the two of them. So, yeah. you, so you're, you're made to think that this girl is awful, but so she's not really even, awful. Even worse, she's probably like, her mom slept with a foreigner. They'll do anything for money. <sighs> oh, Okay, I yes, mean, there's some bad assumptions, too. I mean, she might be rude, but from her perspective, it isn't extremely rude. At least that part. It, yeah, the the now, party, once you get to the party, it's a little different. Mm-hmm. But, that, the, the, but the, again, the initial note thing is if we're talking about thing. societal norms, the shock of seeing that girl there, I mean, that's not you would not expect that. You would not expect this girl that you thought was dirt poor to be at this super fancy party at a mansion with European guests and all the, you know, fancy Japanese people. So... Her reactions are not completely shocking, but she's totally portrayed as this horrible human mm-hmm. being. Yes. Well, I'm rooting for her and uh, Rintaro to get together. Because you don't like either of them. Save Maria. Hashtag save Maria. Better boyfriend. Yes. So, all right. So we got to put the bottom bun on this compliment sandwich. So, uh, What's your compliment? I don't know. You were guys were supposed to have You were supposed to have a compliment. What? No. Hurry up, say something positive. Uh, um, um, you got daughter on the spot. Uh, I, I mean, the art's good. I guess we already talked about that. Um, I look, I know you're not interested, you're not gonna read anymore. What oh, I, that's for sure. What I'm interested in, I might in, read one more. What I'm interested in is really finding out about her dad, or her family, and mm-hmm. how that's going to uh, affect the rest of. 
the story. Because like I don't see how you could tell this romance with this boy story without telling more of the story of her yeah, parents. Which I, is which is what I find kind here, of I'll, I'll, put a I positive. Find... I'll put a positive here. I like that she embroiders. Yeah. That's something that we don't see a lot in any manga or any everyday thing. I'd like to point out so, that seems to be more European too. Like that skill sure, that she's learning there. Course. It doesn't seem like a Japanese skill. Mm. That, when, yeah, not that there's no embroidery in Japan, but that specifically the way she's doing it seems very European. Mm. I, I was going to say that was I, I like stories where they really show why characters do stuff. Specifically due to like what their parents did to them when they were little. And this seems to be like that would be a key point of the story as it goes on. Which is why I'm most interested. I'm, I'm mostly interested in that. Are you going to read more of this? Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Her stack is big and she reads very slow. No, it's not that she <laughs> reads slow. She reads fast. She just has other things going on. She's got lots of other things in between, I guess. Right. Like? School. And James Charles. Ah, uh, yeah. And, I don't watch it. And, and Sonic Mania. Yeah, that, yeah, it's mostly She's just like, yeah, it's Sonic Mania. Mania. It's mostly just me playing video games. That's, that's, that's why yeah. I don't get through them. But yeah. you draw a lot, too. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. So, there we go. Any other thoughts on Golden Japanesque before we move on? You finally read a shoujo for the channel. Yeah. Well, people will be happy. That's actually I've the read, second shoujo, yeah. Yeah, I, I read, um, okay. I read Utena. Yeah. Utena. I also but, read Sweat but, and Soap, which isn't technically a shoujo. Yes, you can't, you okay. can't count that. Just because something's a romance horror doesn't mean it's a shoujo. And the only reason why you wanted to read Utena is because you're into the classics. That's why I agreed to it. I didn't want to. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I did it. You didn't it. want to. Why did you do it? Because I do things for you. I would I make wasn't even the one I would make you color your hair to keep you safe from bullies because I love you. But I wasn't even the one who suggested that video. You actually were the one who suggested the video. I think mommy did it. No, okay. you did. No, you did. You it 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 was one of you guys, but it was not me. Because yeah, I remember I think mom it was coming mommy. up to me being like, Dad wants me to do this thumbnail, so we're going to read that book. And I'm like, okay. No, that was totally Mommy's idea to read Utena. Regardless, here's what we should do. We should do it on three. One, two, three. Here's, here's the, the preview. preview. So we're going to change it up a little bit, okay? So first of all, if you've made it to this far in the video. Why are you still here? Shut up. <laughs> no, That's so mean. we love you and you want you to stay. Please yes, stay. Yes, moreover, do we want you to stay? We want, it gets hard for us to come up with ideas. So if you have some things that you would like us to talk about, some topics or maybe some books, I think we've kind of got it to where we do one manga discussion a month and then one, and then one other uh, type video, uh, a general topics. Spoiler alert, the reason why we like to do that is because it helps us catch up on our huge TBR stacks. Also, because we're gets... constantly reading for her views, yes. we'll never reading yeah, it, it, also, it also just gets boring to read for yeah. views all the time. So, uh, if you want us to discuss some topics, some books you'd like to see us discuss, Exciting. definitely leave, leave them down there. Because we're starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel with ideas. And we're going to try something out. This was something that I wanted to do at the beginning of this channel. Um, back when Mommy Weeb didn't want any part of it, and Daughter Weeb reluctantly helped me because she felt pity for me. But um, we're going to do a segment or a, a types of videos that I am calling Midnight Manga. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoo Daughter Weeb off camera, and we are going to discuss some ultra-violent, ultra schmexy ultra manga. Books. But just... With me and mommy, because this is going to be rated R. M for mature. Mature. Why are you using video game terms? On I don't know, because I couldn't think of anything this clever. Is, this, is, this is videotaping. Shut up. I, where's my note card? Throw me the note card so I can throw it back at <laughs> Daughter Weeb. <laughs> for trolling me. Don't me. I'm just giving constructive criticism. Some destructive criticism. Destructive criticism? No, constructive. Yo. Anyway. So definitely tune in next time for Midnight Manga. And until then, hope and pray that which we book get you're gonna do. No, we don't even know yet. We're gonna just dis... <laughs> we're gonna discuss four mature manga. We don't even know what they are. I figure it would be two of mine, two of mine. So this is gonna be like a mini series. No, mini it's just a brand series. it's just, just 
It's going to be a random manga discussion. Yeah. Except we're not going to read it ahead of time. We're just going to say, we've read these. These are cool. It has a lot of schmecks. Not going to force the other person to read the thing that we've read. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about it. What? I feel that's sarcasm. But anyway, I'm trying to sign off here with six seasons in a movie. Six seasons.